So my name is Susie, Susie Marie Health and Fitness. Um, this is our business. I always speak in the third person because you know what? This is not just mine. It belongs to everyone, uh, women. Susie Marie started when I, myself, um, became gestational diabetic. I do have uh, two children, a uh, 24 year old and a 16 year old. And uh, when I realized that I became gestational diabetic at 16 year old, basically I thought, oh my gosh, I need to do something. So I went from a size maybe three to a size 14 in the space of one year, and then of course developing gestational. So I needed to do something about it. After having my daughter, I also had postpartum depression. Uh, that really took me, took me back a bit because being the strong, outspoken person that I am, <laughs> having a depression was not, was not good. Um, but I decided to take matters in my own hands. I got up and I started moving. I actually started this business um, as a way of giving back. I started this business because I want women to feel comfortable. I wanted women to be happy with themselves. I also wanted women to feel success, success within their own journey. I also want to teach women how to love themselves. And I also wanted to teach women how to be empowered. Empower women in health, in fitness, in beauty, in self, self-care, living, and lifestyle changes. So we're not like the others. We focus on the specific needs of the clients. We will sit down with those clients bi-weekly, on a bi-weekly basis, and I will do a follow-up. The key to this is accountability. We offer you a space that you can come, be free, be open. However, there are accountabilities. We don't want to let you think that it's, it's easy. It's going to take hard work. However, the difference is with us, we help you to your end results. Coach you, we support you, we challenge you, we hold you accountable, we make sure you get there. One of the biggest challenges I find and why I started Susan Marie, as I speak to some of the, the women that I've encountered, it is extremely hard for some women to be able to take a step back and say, all right, I'm going to focus on me. Ladies, I'm telling you, it's okay. It is okay to love yourself. Because if you do not love yourself, not and will not be able to love anyone else. Do not depend on anyone to love you because loving you means that you have to love you first. And no person, no human being can give you the amount of love that you require or desire. You need to start loving yourself first. We have women from different marginalized community that is able to come in, whether it's someone that is coming that is wearing a hijab or somebody that's coming in that is not comfortable with their body size. Um, no one really worry about that. No one really bothers you about that. Running your own business, it gives you flexibility. It also gives you a better perspective on what's important in life. It also gives you the opportunity to be able to manage yourself and manage your family's life and their finance without the, yes, there is going to be stress in everything you do. However, it gives you that opportunity to be able to manage and grow. I, I realized that that talent, I put it toward other people's business. I wanted it to be for me. So for me, having your own business, the most important part is, although I am working the hours, although I'm putting in the stress, although the time is going to be needed, I actually have something. So moving on, I can actually leave my business, my legacy, to my family. But I wanted women to find a platform that they can come to or space that they can come to, feel safe, feel encouraged, feel motivated by their peers, feel open and healthy and strong, not just mentally but also physically, and also find a place to be able to call their own. Because especially working with women that have marginalized community, there's a factor of family, there's a factor of religion, there's a factor of culture, and there's a factor of different, um, whether it is uh, wearing a headscarf or a hijab or someone have to be covered up or not wearing pants or whatever the religion is, I found it was important to find a space for those women. I took my passion for dance, I took my idea for business, 
I took my motivation to want it to be better. I took my progressive lifestyle to want to do better and, and my, my um, attitude of being able to help others, I took that idea in place and I said, okay, I'm gonna do this. And here I am today um, in the business now, location here, at least 10 years into the location, running the business for at least uh, 20 years and we are going strong and here I am today, Susan Marie growing and still staying strong, which 